Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the brand new turf fields here at Hopkinton High School. It is Hopkinton Hillers Senior Night Field Hockey. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Matt Clark is our cameraman this evening. Let's send it back to the athletic director, D. King, down on the field. That was a great rendition of the National Anthem, Tom. Elizabeth Kane. Certainly was. Elizabeth Kane, a sophomore, and also a great <laughs> singer. Now she'll give Whitney Houston a run for her money. <laughs> well, tonight it is a great TVL field hockey matchup here on the Hopkinton Hillers Senior Night. We the can't use the word battle, can we? <laughs> sure, the we girls, can. Girls uh, field hockey? Absolutely. These two teams, I'm sure, are going to have a good battle here tonight. The Hillers are 8-5 and 1 on the season. Westwood is 9-2 and 1. So Hopkinton still fighting to try to lock up a playoff spot. They have 17 points on the season. A tie or a win here tonight does put them in the playoffs. And that would certainly be a great addition to the senior night festivities if they were able to lock up a playoff spot. But of course, it is going to be a tough battle here tonight. As Westwood, they certainly have different plans. The Hopkinton Hillers are led by head coach Joan Bannon, who has done a tremendous job with this field hockey program. As we are set for two 30-minute halves here at the brand new athletic turf. Unfortunately, the scoreboard and the clock is on the same side of us, uh, same side as us, so we're not gonna be able to see it so well, so we'll have to, uh, guess a little bit here as to yeah. how much time is left in the half. Ten on each side, plus one goalkeeper. Can't have two goalkeepers in field hockey. Center line, it's a drag pass. And we are underway here at Hopkinton High School. Westwood in control. Trying to get it into the Hiller's half with possession. That's Elizabeth Watson along the far side. Now, getting in on the action is Cammie McDonald, a junior for the Hillers. Whose mom was a tremendous field hockey player. Well, the free hit here. And lacrosse. And now it's taken by Vani Sharma for the Hillers up the far side. Back pass there. Hillers trying to establish control here in the early minutes of the senior night game against Westwood. 
As the defender is there for the Wolverines, Mastro Matty. And back to the center we go. Pass down from Abigail Crowley. Over to the far side coming along is Blomquist. Hannah Blomquist establishing some possession. We gotta watch out for the feet. Ball touches the feet, the whistle blows. Blomquist up against Eva Clark over on the side of the crease. And we get a whistle there. Hiller's control. Here comes Hopkinton with possession. It's Ava Clark. Pass over to Cami McDonald. McDonald leaves it out in front, but there to take it away was Master Matty. Now the Wolverines have it back as Krumzik is able to get some control. Now it's taken back by Elizabeth Kane. But here comes Blomquist. And a Blomquist with control for Westwood. Pass over to the side of the crease there, looking for a shot. Centers it up. And a shot there is deflected by the goaltender. Secondary shot de deflected by a defender, and it'll be Hiller's ball. Kayla Conway on the initial shot. In net for the Hillers, it's Lizzie Gross. We'll see a familiar figure, Alyssa McIntyre from the girls' softball team. She's the only girl from the girls' softball team on the field hockey team this year, number eight. Trying to work her way upfield, Ava Clark. It'll certainly be a whole lot of fun this season with Hiller softball with the brand new turf field. It'll be interesting to see how they utilize the fields this coming spring season. I'd, I'd they expect, might run on them. They might run on them. <laughs> I'd expect uh, we'll have a whole lot of varsity games on the turf as that is one of the most flooded fields typically when it rains here at Hopkinton High School. Free hit here, Tess Pap Papagni. Pagney goes near side with it. She was looking for Alyssa McIntyre. McIntyre able to get it away. Now it's taken by Colleen Dalton for Westwood, and that'll draw a whistle with the sticks locking up there. You can't set picks in this game, so it's not like basketball. Very different rules. Krumzik trying to work her way in for Westwood. That'll draw another whistle there with the stick interference. This is going to be Elizabeth. a little penalty shot here for now. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for Westwood. This is Abigail Crowley. Hillers are going to load up the net. And she'll she'll go only have it. four there. There's five outside. It's taken away. Hillers having a tough time getting it out of their zone. As coming away with it for Westwood is Conway. Uh, Hiller is able to get it back briefly. Elizabeth Kane had it. Whistle there. Hillers get the free hit upfield. One of the things with these girls' sticks is they have the, the hook and they have the flat part. Looking for a shot here, and that's deflected by the goaltender. That shot by Krumzik. What a blast. Lizzie Gross, the goalkeeper, able to knock that away. Three shots on net. So far for Westwood. Wolverines certainly winning the possession battle thus far as Bloomquist trying to center it up. You gotta use some ice hockey skills here with your sticks. When you receive a pass, you gotta have the blade pointed down or if it's pointed up, you may get hit in the face with it. It'll hop over your stick. And you can't really interlock the sticks either because that'll draw the whistle. Over to the near side. Whistle there as the pass was going towards Alyssa McIntyre. Wolverines inbound. On the entry. Miller's defenders busy in these early minutes as Caroline Waters got a stick in there. Up the near side, Ivani Sharma. Hillers, of course, in their home white jerseys. Westwood in their away green. Over to midfield, it's Cammie McDonald. 
McDonald, Could good be pass a breakaway. to Sharma. Here we go. Sharma looking for a shot, some good stick work there, getting around a couple Wolverines. Back pass oh. towards McDonald, and we get a whistle. Westwood will have it. Hopkins play tried to body up the Westwood player. Not allowed, whistle blows. Ball's intercepted. Taken away by Vanny Sharma. Pass over the far side to McDonald. McDonald was looking for Ava Clark there. One of the things you can't do is you can't rise up with a slap shot in hockey. You can only go waist high. Otherwise, you'll hear the whistle. So here comes the Wolverines trying to work the far side. Fillers will have the free hit here. Just for your information, the Red Sox are up two to nothing against the Houston Astros down at Minute Maid Park. Yeah, nice early lead. Here comes Westwood. And lock it up there, that'll draw the whistle. Centering it up. Hillers will have this one. They can substitute any time. Just run off the field, put a new player on. Tess Papagni over to the far side. Now it's over to Caroline Waters. Last year the Hillers were 15 and four in the regular season, but they ended up losing in the quarterfinals to Somerset Berkeley, who, if you can believe it, Tom, brought two boys to put on their team. And they were destroying the competition throughout the year. Two boys. Uh, that is interesting. Yeah. Well, there's certainly a lot of controversy over that. As the Hillers trying to establish control deep in their own zone. Wolverines are going to have a free hit here. Kendall Bloomquist was going to take it. Now they're going to switch it up. Uh, the non-defender's got to go to center. Well, he was going to say center ice, but there is still ice down here <laughs> at the center line. Center turf. And the <laughs> Hopkinton defenders are in the goal. Abigail Crowley on the hit. Nice center up pass and shot deflected. Colleen Dalton on the shot. Another shot here and that's deflected by the goalkeeper and putting the pressure on. Another deflection by the goalkeeper. Abigail Crowley on the secondary shot. Nice job by Lizzie Gross, but Westwood has another opportunity coming. Colleen Dalton sets it up. Over to Blomquist. Trying to center it up there. Nice job by the Hillers establishing control. Caroline Waters up the near side. Caroline Waters, one of the few seniors on this Hillers team celebrating senior night. Here comes Hopkinton. Get a whistle there. Just imagine two boys with all that testosterone 10 times playing against girls. The MIA, I think, did something about that this year. Grimzik was looking for a shot there for Westwood. Up the near side, Alyssa McIntyre. Here's Dean for Westwood. TVL, a pretty strong field hockey league, that's for sure. A lot of playoff contenders as Blomquist tries to get back into Hiller's territory. Blomquist with the pass up over to Krumsik. And that one is I think a little touch football. there. Yeah. Wolverines with the hit. I don't know how some of these players are wearing short sleeves out there. It's uh, Pretty chilly night. I was just going to say <laughs> Westwood couldn't afford some undershirts for the girls, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's player choice. They have the undershirts available. But you know, if you have boys on the team, they got to wear skirts. Do you know that? Everybody's going to be in the same uniform. Wolverines with another opportunity here. Lizzie Gross has been stoning Westwood so far. 
Here we go, Crowley with the pass. Trying to get in and on the interior. Nice job by the Hillers defenders. We continue to be busy here in this first half. There's a shot, but it will not count. Whistle came prior to the shot. You do the hockey, Tom, during the winter. It's certainly not as raucous of a fan base as it is in hockey, ice hockey, that is. Yeah, we've got a nice turnout here tonight at the uh, turf fields, taking in the action. Here comes Alyssa McIntyre, and of course, uh, some more senior nights coming your way this week. Girls soccer will be on this new turf field tomorrow night. So I'll be right back here for that game. Sorry, I can't join you. Here's Kroomsik on a breakaway. And we'll get a whistle here. As the sticks get interlocked. Trying to get away with it is Blomquist. Pillars will have this one. Oh. No checking here, of course. Water is trying to work her way up over to Vani Sharma along the far side. And it's stolen back by Westwood. Here comes Mastro Matty for the Wolverines. And we get another whistle. This one We're going to have a sub Westwood. for Hopkinton, waiting for player to come off. And Elizabeth Kane going to get into the game very soon. I don't know what it would be like to have a, a boys field hockey team. I think it'd be a train wreck. <laughs> Here's Ava Clark. Clark with the pass up. Hiller's looking for a shot here. Working Lisa her way McIntyre. in and it is deflected by the defender. The goalkeeper getting a foot on it. Well, nicely done by the goalkeeper for Westwood and Colleen Dalton who got in there on defense. Lisa McIntyre was trying to put it through for the Using some of her ice hockey skills. Some good stick work there. Goal is 10 feet wide by 7 feet high. So you and I could go on there if we wanted to. We remain scoreless here in this first half. Here comes the Wolverines down the far side. Kayla Conway with it. Conway trying to establish control, and it's stolen away by Ava Clark. Trying to work her way down. That time was Mestro Matty. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Here comes the sub. On off. Touch sticks. Wolverines looking for a shot here as Conway was trying to sneak it away. Killers with the free hit. Over to McIntyre, another whistle there. Wolverines will have it this time. You gotta be pretty, you gotta be in pretty good shape to play this game. Certainly do, a lot of hustle involved. Trying to establish control there is Conway. Nice pass up, but whistle is drawn. Let's see if the Hillers can establish some good control here. Her comes. Looks like a two on one. Oh, McDonald. just. Yeah, taken away. Kate Dean able to get in there for the Wolverines. And now here's Blomquist. Out in front on a break. Abigail Crowley. Quickly deferred by a defender. Missed shot opportunity there by Blomquist. Here's a breakout. Oh, broken up by Westwood. Colleen Dalton going up against two Hillers there, and she takes it away. Dalton trying to poke it out. Now it's taken back by the Hillers. Cammie McDonald with it. Up to Sharma. Sharma trying to look for the open man, and it is going open, to draw a whistle. Open woman. Dumb. <laughs> that is true. Take you through the TVL standings when we get a chance. Hillers just one point away from clinching a playoff spot. Hillers girls soccer team was able to clinch a playoff spot yesterday with a tie by earning the point. Well, 
Well, the taxpayers can be pr proud of the uh, the job that's the town did putting together a premier Sharma with a backhand facility. there. Yeah, they certainly did a great job, and they did it very quickly as well. well Sharma had a nice backhand, and then McIntyre was there, but the whistle is drawn, and the Hillers have a big opportunity here. Kami McDonald is going to pass it up. And Hopkinton will have a nice uh, shot opportunity. Give it to the third man behind and the pass up. Westwood able to defer it. Nicely done by Colleen Dalton. Wolverines with control. Here comes Crowley. And there's a whistle. Hillers will have the free hit here. We are in the first half here at the brand new turf fields. Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey Senior Night taking on the Westwood Wolverines. Big TVL matchup. In the first game ever played on these new turf fields. Here comes Westwood now. That was Master Maddie looking for a break. Master Maddie trying to turn it around, being deferred by Papagni. Called out Vandy Sharma's name a bunch of times today already. Yeah, sure. she's over on the far side trying to establish control now. A lot of talent on this year's Hillers team. And talking to head coach Joan Banna at the beginning of the season, she's really excited about this year's group. And I can't imagine that excitement has died down with how well they have been playing. And they actually started off with a couple losses and went on a six-game winning streak to really turn their season around. I think they beat uh, Ashland in two to one. And a close grudge match. And it's been a great turnaround for this year's Hillers team, and it's certainly a younger group, too, than we've seen in the past few years. That year, looked like a high stick. This year's roster, only four seniors. They lost a bunch last year. They certainly did. But they've done a nice job hanging in there with the top of the TVL. Here they come now up the far side. Possession, that is Eva Clark. For there, Hiller's going to have the free hit. Here we go. Centered up, and we get a whistle. As one person takes the shot. And this is in favor of the Wolverines, it appears. Well, maybe not. All right, so the Hillers with another opportunity. Ava Clark is going to take control of it. Coming up the far side, Mestro Matty. Here comes Westwood trying to establish control. Westwood player waiting to get in. Taylor Kane along the far side for Westwood up against Caroline Waters. Mr. Matty able to pass along the far side, but Sticks got locked up there for the whistle. The ref's got to be in pretty good shape running up and down the field. Got to have good eyesight too. That red ball's hard to, hard to see. It certainly is. Lights uh, certainly looking very nice on this new turf. We'll have to wait for a nighttime softball game or something. That's right. We'll have to look out for those. Perhaps some nighttime baseball as well. It could be very interesting this upcoming spring. We'll have to bring the bug spray, though. Yeah, you know, maybe post-77 will 
leave its uh, friendly home at the Ashland Middle School and come down and play on a real ball field. That would be nice. There's Kendall Blomquist. Pass over to Elizabeth Watson. We get a whistle here in favor of the Hillers. And missed opportunity there by Waters as she was trying to pass it up. The Hillers field hockey team uh, practiced on this turf yesterday in preparation for today's game. Working her way up is Waters. Nice stick work. Certainly was. Worked away by a couple of Wolverines there. Elizabeth Kane now with a nice pass. Hillers trying to establish control. Here comes Kane. Westwood will have it. Referees are ruining a good thing here, all these whistles. There's Conway. I do agree. They could uh, Let have less play. whistles in this sport. <laughs> now, can you imagine scoring 18 goals in a game, as I mentioned, those boys? <laughs> I mean, this is a nothing-nothing battle. Two good teams. Yeah, seems like there may have been a disadvantage there. Oh, yeah. Bloomquist puts it down the near side over to Krumzik. Hillers will have it now. No bad body language with these girls. This were boys ice hockey. You see some gesticulation. You can look that one up. Pagni over to Clark. Clark on a break. No one there. She was looking for somebody to her left. Here comes Colleen Dalton for Westwood. Now it's taken back by the Hillers. Pass just a little bit too far as Mestre Matty able to get to it for the Wolverines. Put out of bounds along the far side. It's going to be Westwood's ball. But, uh, imagine we're nearing the end of the first half. Of course, we do not have a view of the clock, so we'll just play it by ear. It is a scoreless game between the Hillers and Westwood. Temperature just dropped one degree below the half century mark. Thanks for the coffee, Tom. Anytime. And it looks like we are gonna have a timeout here. And it is a scoreless game as we head into the timeout. It's been a fun battle so far between these two teams, so we'll take a timeout as well. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Field Hockey Night on HCAM. Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry the scouting for food drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, Paper and cleaning products and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Off the timeout, six minutes, 36 seconds left to go in the first half. We are scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines. It's the 2018-2019 Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey Night on the brand new turf here at Hopkinton High School. And what a job they have done with this nice field setup. Turf baseball diamond, turf softball diamond, and of course the turf gridiron. So we'll uh, certainly expect to see a whole lot of games here on the new turf at Hopkinton High School. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, happy to be with you this evening as the Hillers looking to establish some control here. Westwood certainly leading the shooting battle. But I'd say the Hillers over the last few minutes have had the upper hand in the possession battle. I think there's a soccer field here too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some softball on that turf. That'll be interesting. I'd imagine there'll be a lot more of a bounce to some of the uh, infield grounders. Well. better an easy play than having a, a bad infield. On the far side, Elizabeth Kane. 
And of course, if snow runs late, it won't be as much of a factor as it's been in the past. Right, if the You're Boston Marathoners destroy the baseball field at right. the varsity level, <laughs> they'll be playing down here. Yeah, they had a couple of games move to road games because of that. 10,000 Clydesdales stepping in the mud up there in a rainy marathon day. Astro Matty was going to take the free hit for Westwood. She'll move it up and do so. Hiller's trying to get control back. Oh. Here comes Dalton. And it's stolen away. Hillers have it. Ava Clark able to get in there. Off the far side now, it's Waters. A pass up, maybe a shot opportunity here. Out in front is Elizabeth Kane. Looking to get by for the shot. Nice pass it out in the danger zone for Westwood. And there's just a Scrum. Yes, yeah, scrum <laughs> in front of the net now. And I'd imagine a number of players from both teams touch, got a touch on it there. And now the Hillers are going to have a big opportunity here. Who's going to take the shot? Or the pass in? Well, they have a number of potentials. I'm guessing Ava Clark. She gets it. The shot and went off the stick of McIntyre first. McIntyre trying to establish control. And now center it up. And that shot's deflected by the goaltender. Goaltender Darn. Megan Brown. Oh, an opp opportunity uh, deferred by Westwood there. I want to hear your goal call. She shoots, she scores. <laughs> Back and forth we go. Ava Clark with possession. Up the far side, taken back by Westwood briefly. Hillers have certainly won the possession battle in the uh, second half of this first half. And we're nearing the final minutes. Hopkins has been an action pack first half between these two teams. Didn't mean to step on it there, but Hopkins made a couple substitutions during that timeout. Yeah, looks like they got Sarah Doyle in the game. She's working her way up the far side now. Out in front, shot opportunity here, and it is going to be no good. Caroline Waters just not able to get to it quick enough. Now Westwood will be able to clear it away. That's the closest thing you'll see to a slap shot. I think they call it an aerial. Pass up by Waters. And the sideline goes Bloomquist. And we'll get a whistle. Wolverines have it. Pass up from Dalton. She was looking for Krumsick. You know, field hockey is very big in Europe for men, all men's teams. And they wear skirts. Saw that on YouTube today. Yeah. Doing your research. Well, yeah, I didn't mean to promote YouTube. We'll just call it a uh, <laughs> video service. Up the far side is Mr. Matty. Those guys can really blast the ball. Well, if you are on YouTube, head over to hcam.tv slash YouTube, or youtube.com slash hcam.tv. We have a nice YouTube page. That we could promote. Sure. Hiller is with possession. Pass down out in front, deferred. Nicely done by the defender, Kay Wilson. Hopkins player going up the side. 
broken up by Westwood player. She takes the ball away. Wolverines are going to have the free hit here. Nearing the end of the first half, still scoreless between these two TVL rivals. That Got some air under that one. Stick foul there. Ball went in the air and the Westwood girl touched it. Bonnie Sharma had it for Hopkinton. Now along the far side's Ava Clark. Draws the whistle, Westwood now with control. That's gonna do it for the first half of play. After one, it is Hopkinton nothing, Westwood nothing. It has been a good defensive battle here tonight at the new turf fields. It's Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Field Hockey Senior Night on HCAM. Help your community to collect food for the Project Just Because Hopkinton Food Pantry, the Scouting for Food Drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School. It is Hopkinton Hillers, Girls Varsity Field Hockey Senior Night. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Matt Clark is our cameraman for this evening's matchup. We are ready for the second half between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines, and we are scoreless as we enter this second half. When we have a chance, let's take a look at the TVL standings for field hockey. Medway is nine wins, no losses, two ties. They have locked up a playoff spot. Norwood's also locked up a playoff spot. Seven wins, three losses, three ties. Hopkinton, eight wins, five losses, and a tie. They will likely have a playoff spot as well. Holliston, eight wins, four losses, and a tie. Westwood, nine wins, two losses, and a tie. Ashland, 2-11-0. Medfield, 2-10-1. Bellingham, 3-9-0. And Dedham is pretty close to a playoff spot at 7-3-2. and two. Here come the Hillers here, putting the pressure on and it's deflected away. One of the Hiller girls took a dive on the turf, wonder if they get turf burned. Well, it's probably better than diving on dirt. I'd imagine that this sport is a lot easier to play on turf than grass. Because grass is just so much more choppy when you're trying to hit the ball. I can't imagine it's easy. Yeah, over in the old country, they uh, put water cannons on the turf, and get it all wet so the balls are really slick and they go a lot faster. That's what I learned today. Ball is knocked away, and it's going to be Westwood's possession. And they prefer the water on the turf rather than the rubber pellets because that slows things down. FYI. Up the far side it goes, out of play. Hillers will have it. Pass by Pagney. Get a whistle there. Leave off sides. Westwood possession. Good thing this is a running clock. They wouldn't wouldn't have to stop it every time for a whistle. I agree. Certainly a lot of whistles in this sport. Here comes Westwood on a break. Kroomsick looking. First shot here. And the, contact, the stick on stick contact there draws a whistle. Hillers will have it. Westwood coach is calling for the girls that keep their sticks down. Far side, Ava Clark. Trying to get it out of the Hillers defensive zone. Surrounded by Wolverines there. It's pretty good stick work, but Westwood able to keep control. For all those people that took a snack break, just joining us, the uh, teams have switched sides. Yeah, Westwood in their away dark green uniforms. Hillers in their home white. 
And now the Wolverines looking for a shot here. Nicely done by the Hillers defenders. Taking it back is Blomquist. Now over to Dalton. Up the far side she goes. And with possession, Caroline Waters. Waters will have the free hit. Sharma. Sharma trying to break away. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Conway with the pass up. It's over to Crowley. And another whistle there. This is going to be in favor of the Hillers. Tess Papagni. Up the far side, McIntyre trying to get control for Hopkinton. Here comes Westwood, out in front, deflected. Trying to steal it back. It was Taylor Kane. Wolverines have an opportunity here to get on the scoreboard. It's a nice steal. Very nice steal. Nice pass. That was by Ava Clark. Now with possession, Lucy Hebert. Lucy Hebert, sister of Connor Hebert, of baseball and football fame, now down at the University of Maryland, College Park. Is he playing down there? No. You got to be really big. Right. Westwood on the free hit. I thought that hit a foot, and it did. Wolverines will take it again. In the Hillers' territory, they go. Trying to work her way up. He's Krimsik. That's going to be uh, out of bounds. Yep. Yeah, nowhere to go with it, so Blomquist just knocked it right out. Pillars will have it. On the entry, Natalia Gomez Donati. Ouch. Off a foot, Westwood has it. They got to have shin pads, I was just going to say that. Here comes Krumsik. It's an open girl. Stolen away, good steal by Blomquist. Taken back by the Hillers as Caroline Waters is able to get to it. There's a foot foul. We got Sharma, Alyssa McIntyre, waiting on the left side. Doyle with the pass down, now working her way up. Near side is Blomquist. Hillers need to get it out of there as Krumsik trying to put it even deeper into the danger zone and we get a whistle as Conway made contact with the ball. And this will go in favor of the Hillers. Here comes Hopkinton. Down the near side was Alyssa McIntyre stolen away. Alyssa and Sharma. There's a pass by Alyssa McIntyre over to Sharma. Sharma with an opportunity here. That's back to McIntyre. Up the near side, Blomquist. Here comes Waters. Now it's Ava Clark. Clark with the pass towards McIntyre. And 
out of play on Westwood. We're in the second half, we remain scoreless between the Wolverines of Westwood and the Hillers of Hopkinton. Gomez Donati over to Sharma. Score's tied, right? 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> McDonald getting in on the action as well as Clark. Ava Clark trying to turn it around and center it up. Handful of Wolverines there. Hillers with another chance here. One of the rules is if there's going to be a penalty shot, the defending team is going to go out to the uh, center line to just sort of watch. It's like a man advantage. Shot. Deflected by a defender, secondary shot, and that's off the goalkeeper. First shot was by Ava Clark, secondary shot by Caroline Waters. And a nice job defensively by Westwood there. Goalies look so small relative to the size of the net. Obviously, the net is bigger than a hockey net. Trying to establish control is Ava Clark. Over to Waters. Clark now. Muscles that ball away. up towards McIntyre, get a whistle. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Up the near side, Krumsik. Put in play by Gomez Donat. And Westwood will have possession here. Scoring opportunity, centered up. Good defense. Very nice defense by the Hillers. And a nice job by Ava Clark sneaking it out of there. Hopkins on a break. The Hillers have the advantage heading up field. Along the far side. Now Wolverines will have the free hit. Looks like they play sort of half the field. There's nobody on our side here. Like in soccer, they sort of stay in their lanes. Up the far side is Conway for Westwood. She's looking to center it up. Looking for a shot here. Deflected by one defender. Sneaking around a defender there is Mestre Matty. And now the Wolverines going to have a scoring chance. That's well, been a pretty nice job by the Hillers defenders in the box, but I think they're finding themselves there a little too much in these last few minutes. Why did they make them run out to the center line, Tom? How, how about the third of the way? So they don't have to run so much. <laughs> it's part of the sport. Oh. Dalton with the pass shot here, Mastro Matty now out in front. Stoned. By and Liz it is wrapped up by the goalkeeper. Nice job by Lizzie Gross. Bars the door. That's what you gotta do, lock him out. Here comes the Hillers, passed down by Waters. Now Cammie McDonald trying to take control, get a whistle, Westwood has it. Waters, trying to backhand it down the near side. They're so nice about it, <laughs> they go over the, the sideline. And Conway was looking for a big shot for Westwood. And she just straight out missed the ball there. We get a whistle, Hillers will have the free hit. Beautiful night for a broadcast. 
Certainly is. No wind? Yeah, there's a little wind. Well, take a look at the flag, Tom. <laughs> it's hanging limp out there. Westwood with an opportunity. The shot is deferred initially and then put in. And I believe that was Abigail Crowley for the Wolverines with the goal there. Yeah, the bad team put it in. So Abigail Crowley makes it 1-0 Westwood. Well, they kept putting the pressure on, and sooner or later, you have to expect they're going to be able to slip through. Not happy about that, at least. Sharma comes off for a substitution. Along the far side, and we get a whistle. Miller's have it. Working her way down was Ava Clark. I'm going to try to track it down. Westwood trying to clear their defensive zone. The Hillary's certainly going to put the pressure on now. Is trying to establish control of Sarah Doyle. There was a trip there, an attempted trip by Westwood. Well, an opportunity for Hopkinson here to tie things up. How about a Cam Neely slap shot right from the, right from the circle? Top corner. Out in front, shot, and it is poked away by a defender, but the Hillers still have it in the danger zone for Westwood. Seems like Hopkins has got a little sense of urgency here in the Westwood zone. And this is going to be free hit Westwood. In the second half, one nothing lead for Westwood, and I'd imagine we're in the second part of the second half. Of course, we do not have a view of the clock, so we're playing the guessing game when it comes to time here. It's one of the rules is you can't get body position in front of the offensive player. It's stolen back. By the Hillers, Kroomsick and Caroline Waters going at it. There's no nice pass. That was a nice job by Gomez to not to try to get it down. Wolverines on the free hit. They would love some security here. Astro Matty, or excuse me, that is Hannah Blomquist. We've called that name a lot tonight, Blomquist. Yeah, she's been out there pretty much all game for the Wolverines. It's been a good battle between these two teams. It certainly won't be over. So the clock strikes zero. Here comes the Hillers. Nice job trying to thread that pass between the legs. Over to Cameron McDonald from Sarah Doyle. McDonald centers it up. And Hillers can't get a shot off as it was deflected by the defender. Nice job by Mastro Matty. Along the far side now. Ava Clark trying to center it up. Hiller's got numbers. The ball goes out of bounds. We're out of play. Wolverines on the free hit. On the far side. And Coach Bannon going to call a timeout for the Hillers. So timeout taken. It's Westwood leading Hopkinton one to nothing. It is Varsity Senior Night Field Hockey on HCAM.
Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry, the scouting for food drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products, and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Off the timeout, 12.46 left to play in regulation. It's Westwood leading Hopkinton one to nothing. Senior night field hockey here on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad, Matt Clark on camera. Coming to the timeout. Well, Coach Ban wanted the timeout, talk things over, and drop some plans here to try to get some shots off. The Hillers have had trouble getting shots off in this second half. Along the far side. Seems like every time the Hillers have an opportunity, they foul or commit some other infraction. Had a couple decent chances. Pass out over to Ava Clark. And we'll get a whistle. Wolverines will have it. Here comes Westwood. It's broken up. Hillers have certainly put more pressure on since Westwood scored their goal. As the water's trying to knock it down, it is deferred. Over the near side, that's Krumzik. And we get a whistle going in favor of Westwood. The girls use that stick, they can drag that ball along, but they do run with their head down. And ice hockey, if you put your head down, you know what happens. Long course on the near side. Here comes Hopkinton, Waters. Pass over to Kane. Kane and McIntyre working along the far side. Wolverines will have the free hit. Up the sideline and looks like it hit a, hit a tootsie, and now Hopkins has got the ball. Westwood having a little bit of trouble clearing out of their defensive zone over the last few minutes. It's been good pressure by Hopkinton, but certainly uh, need to try to get some shots off. Good battle along the far side. That was between Ava Clark and Crowley. And here comes Westwood now, as they were finally able to break it out of their defensive zone. Back pass. Miller's gonna have to clear out here. Wolverines at this stage just kind of seem like they're playing a little bit of keep away here, but they have an opportunity for a shot. They're going to try to take it. And out of play it goes in front of goalkeeper Lizzie Gross. Free hit Hillers. Nice backhanded spin move. It's a nice stick handling. Going up the side. Up the far side it goes. Wolverines trying to break away as Kate Dean was trying to establish possession. Oh, 
Here's comes the Hillers, pressure. And loose ball out in front. Wolverines able to swarm with defenders. Cammy McDonald nearly had an open shot there. That was just before the goalkeeper was able to get there, Megan Brown. And now out in front and more pressure. Deferred by the goalkeeper once again. Is that McIntyre in the crease? There's two hillers near the crease. I believe that's Caroline Waters. It could make the numbers a little bigger on these jerseys. I don't even know how you see them in <laughs> the first place. Elizabeth Kane is in there and I believe the other girl is uh, Caroline Waters. Now there's going to be another penalty shot. Yeah, Hillers with a huge opportunity here. Waters is to the left. Out in front, that's Cammie McDonald. She'll go to, that's not McDonald, that's McIntyre. McIntyre puts it in! Tie game! Alyssa McIntyre coming up huge for the Hillers, and it's one to one. Not bad, not bad. Well, they kept putting the pressure on, didn't let loose, and they tie it up. Big goal there by the Hillers. As we near the final few minutes. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School. We are ready to go off the timeout, one to one. And Larry, that was a nice goal there by Hopkinton. They put the pressure on. And finally, it resulted in what they wanted. Finally, he's right. Alyssa McIntyre, as I mentioned earlier, played uh, JV hockey, decided to give that up. Used uh, some of her stick skills. Walked in on net and blasted one. Right through the goalkeeper's five hole. Along the far side. And we get a whistle there. Hiller's ball. Free hit here. Well, can the Hillers come up with another one? Westwood trying to establish some possession up the far side. Here come the Wolverines. And we get a whistle. And Wolverines, they're certainly not gonna go, out, go away without a fight here. I believe it's Crowley getting the shot off. That one gets by, but out of play. Dangerous situation there, no defenders in the area. And Westwood almost was able to knock in a quick one. Is an aerial, that should be a foul, no. I thought you couldn't touch a ball when your stick was over your shoulder. Pass down by Cammie McDonald. Alyssa McIntyre with possession along the near side. Uses her body to fend off the defender. Great pass out in front. A couple Wolverines in the area, however, as Ava Clark trying to sneak it through. That's what the Hillers need to do, keep that pressure on. They are certainly winning the possession battle in the later part of the second half. Caroline Waters along the near side. Taken by Cam McDonald. And we'll get a whistle here. And this is in favor of Hopkinton. We'll look for a tip in here. Ava Clark.
Clark with it. Time, I'd imagine, is running low at this point. But I believe there is a few minutes left. I'm going to guess about three minutes left, Larry. No, I'll say five. Of course, we'll never know. <laughs> Pagney along the far side. Pass over in the crease. We get a whistle. Wolverine's ball. You'll have to get that Hopkins goal in slow motion in, in the studio for the fans at home. Certainly will. And uh, Hiller is putting the pressure on here as the ball was knocked out by the goalkeeper. And guess what? They have another uh, shot opportunity here. That was put out of play off the goalkeeper. Hillers are going to have another scoring opportunity late in the second half. Out in front, it's McIntyre. Trying to knock it through. Still with possession, up close to the net, and it is just wide. Who was it out on, though? Looks like it was out on Westwood. It was. David Clark will set it up. It's a nice long ride home for the Westwood kids. She's tripped up. Another whistle on Westwood. Another shooting opportunity for the Hillers. Can they come away with the victory? It's tied one to one. Right now they're guaranteed at least a point as long as they hold Westwood off for the rest of the remaining minutes. But they could grab a win out in front. Spin move. And it's going Kicked. Westwood's way, yep. Kickball. Great pressure by the Hillers in these last few minutes. When those girls get their sticks together and the ball in the middle, a lot of strength you gotta use to Gomez dislodge Denati. the ball. Yep. Gomez Donati up against Chromesick. Here we go, the Hillers with another chance here coming in from the side. Out in front. And we get a whistle there on Westwood. Hillers with another opportunity. Who do you go to here? I don't know. I'd like to send the Westwood girls home on that long bus ride with the loss. I think you're going to Ava Clark. That's who they go to. Shot out in front. Deferred. Wolverines will have the free hit. In the center circle. And it's going Westwood's way. Over to Crowley. Out to Kroomsick. Look out. Here comes Westwood. Kroomsick trying to squeeze in between a couple of hillers. And it is deferred. Still in the danger zone, however. Passed by Dalton. And that was knocked out by the Hiller's defenders. And Westwood with an opportunity here. Dalton going to pass it over to Blomquist. Squeezing in between a couple of Hillers. Tripped up. That draws a whistle. And it's going Hopkinton's way. I thought that was a flop on the Westwood player. One-to-one -one score here. Westwood putting the pressure on. That shot wide to the right by Dalton. And that's going to do it. We are going to end in a 1-1 final. The Hopkinton Hillers in an impressive effort to grab a point from a very tough Westwood Wolverines team. And Larry, this was a great senior night performance here by the Hillers. One of the best field hockey games I've ever seen. Well, it's been certainly a whole lot of fun. The Hopkinton Hillers improved to eight wins, five losses, and two ties on the season for a total of 18 points. They've locked up a playoff spot. The Westwood Wolverines 
our nine wins, two losses, and two ties on the season. They will be going to the postseason as well. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines draw here at the new turf field, a final of a one to one. For Matt Clark on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for joining us for this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Senior Night Field Hockey on HCAM. Good night, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.